Hi guys. So I just want to start off by saying we are going back to the regular old music from before because I have been having so many problems when I let my playlist play in the background of my videos. I get like copyright stuff that, you know, and it, I mean, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I'm just, I'm kind of sad about it that I can't play, but it's okay. It, it just causes me too many problems and I got to get these videos uploaded. So I can't be dealing with all that. So anyway, <laughs> hello and welcome. Um, I do have a few new subscribers. So hello and thank you for subscribing. So, let's see, where do I want to start with this? Usually when I start my readings, I um, don't know exactly where I'm going with it. I don't really have a plan set in mind. I just go with what I know and what I'm told and what I hear and what my intuition tells me okay so for those of you who are new to my channel I am a psychic medium I just recently very recently just started sharing um, comfortably all the personal information and stuff that goes on with me as far as like what I practice what I do okay um opening your third eye spiritual awakening um the occult witchcraft stuff like that it's um a little scary okay i'm just gonna say it's a little scary to come out with stuff like this and um do things like this because you know people still don't look at people like me in the friendliest um, way. So sometimes it can be a little scary, but I want to share my experiences. I want to share my, um, abilities with you guys. I want to do this kind of stuff. It's, you know, what I'm passionate about and it's what I enjoy. So those of you who are so supportive, because I do have wonderful subscribers, you guys are so awesome to me and so supportive and let me know that you enjoy my readings and, and it's just, it's a really good feeling. So, um, nothing yucky so far. Energy attracts energy, likes attract likes. So I seem to be attracting very wonderful people into my circle and I just, I couldn't be happier about it. I appreciate it very much. So. What I do is, like I said, I don't really have a plan. I just kind of go with what it wants me to do. Um, like I was saying, for those of you who are new, I do things like communicate with spirits. I communicate with um, angels, extraterrestrials, ETs, or what I like to call them. Call them what you like. Um, whatever works for you. Into it. Um, intuition and intuitional exercises are a big part of what I do and what I teach. I teach how to read tarot. Um, I teach how to open the third eye, how to meditate, um, all of that kind of stuff. So I will have everything that you need to know in the description box down below. I also do private readings, personal readings, just everything that you need to know um, about how to get in touch with me for stuff will be in the description box. Okay. So I roll the dice, right? And see what Zodiac signs it lands on. And those are the signs that they want me to read for. Okay. So that's usually how I do it. And then also um, I have a video up on my Patreon channel about these cards and explaining them in detail. I haven't really used them much on the channel publicly yet, okay? 
but they are playing cards, like gaming cards, like magic and stuff like that. I don't know, something like that. Would you stop it, kitty cat? What's wrong with you? Why are you crazy? My cat has been acting crazy in my, like, just in general, but he's on my videos acting a fool a lot lately. I'm sorry. Kitty cat, stop it. Anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, but they're some, they're like gaming cards or something like that, like magic and things like that. And, um, there's a whole story. Exp I don't remember. I don't, I'm just going to tell you the truth. I don't fucking remember if I put it in, um, any of my other videos or not. And yes, I do cuss, um, often not so much around when my three-year-old is around, but he is at school right now. So, um, sometimes I do say bad words and I'm sorry if that offends you. Um, I can't help it. So you, I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to support it or be around for it. It's okay. Um, oh, that's important. Anyway, <laughs> um, but yes, I don't remember if I put the story as to how these came about into this whole thing or not on publicly on YouTube, but I do know for certain that it's on my Patreon. So, um, but I will post a video explaining to everybody, but long story short, I was given these, um, as a, just, you know, like, Oh, you like nerdy shit like this here. It was just supposed to be like, these are some kind of gaming cards. But they started reading for me like oracle cards or like tarot cards and tell me like about situations that are going on. Okay, so it's really interesting to see. I'm so sorry if you guys hear my cat acting like a crazy, crazy cat in the background. I don't know what to do about that. Okay, his name is Cheese and he's technically my son's cat, but he's our cat, and we love him, but he's new and out of his mind, so, jeez, stop it, he's running around all crazy, but anyway, okay, and this is seven minutes into this video, and I'm sorry, but I'm taking some time to explain everything, um, I'm apparently supposed to do this, um, everything happens for a reason, so here you go, um, also same with these. They just look like regular playing cards, which you can read playing cards like tarot. That's the whole, you know, I mean, that's a whole thing, but like this is, um, six of swords and I don't read them. Like I looked it up on Google after the fact, like after I started using my intuition to read these a certain way. I looked it up on Google to see if I was doing it right. And according to Google, I'm not, but I don't care. It's, you know, what my intuition tells me. So I read them how I'm told it's, you know, it, everything is ever changing. Energy is ever changing. And sometimes it's just, it, it's like that you guys. So, um, just a heads up that please don't come at me if I say something wrong or what, you know, wrong to what Google says. That's an explanation to that. So, <laughs> all right. So we are now finally going to get into the reading. I just wanted to explain these to you because they want me to use these in this reading. Okay. So I got to make sure that you guys, um, understand what's happening and you'll see as I read them how they work okay so now we're going to see who will we who will we be reading for today let me um balance my energy the energy is crazy are we reading for Aries again I'm so tired of y'all <laughs> like Aries keeps showing up in my public reading so freaking much. And y'all are so like just it's fire energy, that's for sure. My cat's acting like a loony loony tune. Okay.
Taurus. Interesting. They want to from each. Gemini. A third? Are we doing a third? Taurus. Gemini. Okay, three. Sorry. Leo. There's that fire energy. Taurus, Gemini, Leo. We do have um, Mars is in Gemini. So that resonates with me. Um, I actually just did a class about the Mars in Gemini and the Pisces new moon that's coming up, but Mars is currently in Gemini. Leo, Mars, fire energy. Mars is the planet of war. It's the planet of taking action. It's the planet of masculine energy. It is fire. All of you, you know, you get what I'm saying. It's all of those, um, taking actions, uh, fighting fast paced, forward movement like fire it's fire okay so that being said and it's very like energetic okay that's a but that's a lot of energetic energy like energetic energy um energetic kind of vibe like hyper um taurus is earth energy it is very um stubborn um, which can be good and bad, stubborn, um, slow paced movement or not moving at all type energy. It's complete opposite of fire. Okay. Earth energy is, and then Gemini is air, which is all about the mind and logic, thinking, overthinking, um, planning things using, using the brain. Okay. And then notice how it, um, different my energy is explaining those things. Those um, Pay attention to synchronicities and energies and the way that things, the way I say things, the way that I um, talk or sound or like how whenever I was trying to explain fire energy, I was all over the place. Whenever I tried to explain earth energy, I was very slow and simple. Whenever I tried to um, explain air energy, I was very straight to the point. Okay, see, that's the energy of that. That's what I teach everyone. That's that's how this, um, I mean, that's how this works. Obviously, and um, all of my movements can be involuntary. Okay, I communicate with my guides. I communicate through my intuition as I just move my hands to do whatever I'm guided to do. So they want me to pull from this first. Okay. I guess everyone um, is curious. I have like this energy of everyone's curious. Like, how does that work? How do you do that? So, <laughs> And these are very, very new, okay? I haven't used these on the channel at all yet. I have used them on Patreon uh, once, and I've only done a couple of private readings with them, so they're very new, okay? Gemini, Leo. Oh my God. Five of Wands. That Leo fire energy fighting um, war um, arguments in like lots of energetic hyper energy. Um, it doesn't have to be like fighting 
fighting, like having an argument or something, you know, I mean, it can be, but it's basically just standing for Mars. It's Mars energy. It's, it's, it's fighting, fighting together, fighting with someone. It's, it's passion. It's, um, excitement. It's hyper energy. It's very, all of those things, five of ones. Now what it says is try to blend in, practice your zombie walk. Okay. So I will explain that in a moment. I need a couple of more cards I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. It's kind of got this, um, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, right? That's what I pick up from that. Try to blend in, practice your zombie walk. I read that as keep your friends close and your enemies closer. guides for your messages. You want to keep them coming? Anything else from here? I've got three from each. Hold on. Put this away for just a second. We'll come back to it. I'll show you how these work. I guess people are like, I want to see all of it. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I really hope that, I mean, like, you guys can let me know if you enjoy seeing me use these cards or not. I don't know. I'm kind of like... I love the way that these work, honestly, so if you guys like it or not, let me know. Keep your friends closer, enemies closer, five of wands, and I think diamonds, actually Google says that they're pinnacles, but I don't believe that, that's not what, <laughs> that's not what. This came out in the Mar... See, okay, understand this too, you guys. Okay? This is a lot of freaking cards. Is it not? These are a lot of freaking cards. Okay? And this is the same card that came out in my Mars and Gemini reading that I did yesterday. Actually, I posted... Um, on Patreon yesterday. This is crazy. So, I took this in the reading yesterday as someone um, backing out of a backing out of an investment, backing out of, a, of some kind of blessing, or backing out of some kind of deal okay let me see like it's this energy of and it was like this yesterday there's this energy of really 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 wanting something really bad really coveting something and then as soon as you have the opportunity that's the word I was looking for um, going backwards, not accepting an opportunity, as soon as that opportunity is given to you, you don't take it, or you back out, or you chicken out, right? So, I don't know exactly, let me see, oh, witching oration, this came out in one of my private readings, um, manifesting something that's what I'm saying 
okay? It's like something that you have been manifesting and wanting and coveting and trying to achieve for a really long time. And then it's like, as soon as you have the opportunity, it's um, this energy of backing out or taking it back or you lost it, okay? Or it got taken away. Mmm, y'all, somebody's flash. It happened in a flash. It happened quickly. It was all of a sudden, like everything was going good, and then all of a sudden, boom. Okay, and that is very much so the Mars in Gemini energy. Very much so Pisces, new moon energy. Okay, it's a, it's a shift. Um, army of rats. Interesting enough, um, this has this vibe of just like a, somebody screwed you over. This is the energy of getting screwed over or um, screwing somebody over. Army of rats, like, like there's, I feel this energy of somebody getting screwed over as far as like a money deal, okay? Or as far as like something with their job or their career, um, the people they work with. Okay, and then I'm not going to pull many more. I'm not going to pull these out. They just wanted, that's, they wanted three and that's four. So, I'm going to pull some more from these now. But, um, practice your zombie walk. And this says protein and fortitude. Okay, so here's the zombie. Like, it's keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Like, staying safe, staying in your fort. Um, keeping this energy to yourself like I feel like you know somebody's fucking you over but you're not saying anything you're just blending in okay like you're angry you're mad you're you're I am gonna keep these out because that's interesting okay I thought I was just supposed to do three or two or three from but whatever <laughs> whatever happens I guess um Okay, I'm getting really <laughs> bothered by this. Um, I went through all of these cards like twice and pulled out all the doubles, okay? Um, there were a few like doubles and or two or three of the same card. So I took all of the ones that were the same out and just left one of each. And uh, I missed a few and it's really funny that the same, when the same card like that comes out twice, because it's, there's not very many doubles in here. There really shouldn't be. I've gone through it multiple times, and then this still happens, and that's a lot of fucking cards, you guys, that are different, okay, for it to uh, pull out the, the two, and the, those are probably going to keep in mind that I showed you those. They might come out. Um... But yeah, it's um, pretty wild when the same card comes out twice like that. This is something you've been you've been manifesting. Maybe this is very high priestess energy too. Maybe you're quietly manifesting, like you're keeping your plan to yourself. You're keeping whatever, or you should be okay. Friends close, enemies closer. Not saying anything out loud, but you know what you know. But it's a disappointing, like it's something of an opportunity that was taken away from you. Or like the rug being pulled out from under you. Do they really not want anything else from these? That's not supposed to be in there. Come on, guys, just one from here. It's really not going to give me anything, huh? We've got Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. 
fast food, zombies eat on the run. Eight of Pentacles is work, job, career, working on something. Um, it's uh, like how it says blending in with the zombies. Fast food, flash happening in a happening quickly. Someone screwing you over at work really fast. Four of Pentacles, zombies, worst house guest ever. The zombies are like the negative energy or the negative people, if you haven't been able to notice that yet. Um, worst house guest ever. Four of Pentacles is greed. Holding on to something and not letting something go. Somebody, um, I, I sense a lot of greediness with money. Something at your job fucking you over. Okay, like, an, um, screw it out of a promotion or something. Four of Wands. Keep a lookout. Zombies go all night long. Four of Wands is definitely passion, um, stable passion. Okay, it's stability, but it's also passion. It's also like, it's like. Keep a lookout. Zombies go all night long. Working your ass off for some kind of stability and blending in with... I feel like this vibe of blending in with all of these shitty people to get a promotion or something, to get a somewhere that's like... But you got screwed over or screwed out of it. Okay, let's see if we can get any um, answers for what is to come of this, okay? And then after that, I will move this over to the extended, okay? Which will be available on my Patreon and everything will be in the description box below. I guess they want me to pull these tarot cards. And my readings can be pretty long, but they're usually not. Magician, guys, my tarot readings can be pretty long, but they're usually not like ridiculous. Just I've done a lot of talking in this and explaining in this video. So manifesting something, working really hard for something. Um, I mean, some of you could be practicing doing like spells and stuff to kind of get ahead and in like your job or your career, um, money spells, things like that. Um, we did have, now this coincides a lot with, um, the Virgo full moon that we had previously before this upcoming, uh, Pisces new moon. Now, listen, the energy shift is going to be, if you guys were, um, fucking around with manifesting or, drawing in a money opportunity, a promotion at work, um, anything, you know, some, some kind of something involving career or money. And, um, it seemed like it was going really well, or you expected it to work. And then all of a sudden everything went to shit really fast. And you're like confused. You're really like, wait a second, but I've been manifesting. Shouldn't that be, but you have to like, hold out, okay, because that's how this kind of stuff works. If you are manifesting and putting something out there that you really want and working really hard for something, it's, you have to have a mindset of, I want this or something better, okay? So keep that in mind because the universe might be ripping this opportunity away from you on purpose because they're going to offer you something even better. Okay, so sometimes things will get really, really, really shitty or blow up on you. I see the tower card. Things will blow up on you um, unexpectedly when you expected something to go really good or it seemed like it was going really well. And then all of a sudden it blows up after you got your hopes up and you manifested something particular from it. That's because you have to have a mindset of I want this or something better. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to be telling you from this message that I'm getting here. Um, when you manifest something and you do all that, if if there's a better opportunity on the horizon that you're on the horizon that that you're not seeing, 
they will take this out of your line of sight so you can see it. Okay? Does that... I hope that makes sense. Um, the universe, they... ETs, angels, spirit guides, whatever. You know, however you look at it. Just, you know, the way that the universe is spinning. Okay? And we have... Mars and Gemini, which is um, very war on the head, on the, in the mind, war in the mind, um, overwhelming thoughts, um, very like your brain on fire, okay? <laughs> so, and that's a big shift. We just recently started this, so that's a big shift. It should be over, I believe, on the 23rd, okay? So that will cause a lot of uproar and chaos in your bullshit. And then Pisces and New Moon is very um, shadowy emotions and you know so it's gonna be fucking with things going on around you a little bit um, depending on your birth chart your zodiac signs and all of that that can explain how um, things will affect you differently but I will talk all about that kind of stuff on a, you know at a later time I do classes and stuff on it so if you're interested Five of Pentacles. Is it supposed to be in reverse? It can go either way. Okay. Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold and it landed on Army of Rats. But it landing in reverse kind of tells me of that, you know, inkling of you got screwed over. You were left out in the cold. It's definitely something involving money. Okay. But you're aware you're aware of what's going on. Your intuition is telling you or you caught on to somebody's bullshit or you are, you're aware that you got screwed over and you do have it being in reverse means hope in out overcoming that, coming out of that. You, I feel like you have the realization, you have the ability to realize that, yes, okay, if this di opportunity didn't work out, I will get something better. There's hope to getting something better, okay? And that's what that is. That's coming out of that hopelessness and that being left out of the cold feeling when it's in reverse, okay? High Priestess, that's the card for intuition, okay? And just knowing what's up, right? Like, you just know, like... Intuitives are the high priestess. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. This is patience and waiting. And it's, you know, uh, it's, it's receiving your blessings. It's patience to receive what it is. That... The two of cups flying out is very interesting. That's like, a, let me get a clarification on the two of cups, please. Was it supposed to be in reverse? Because it kind of landed in reverse. So, full new beginnings. Wow. Um, I guess maybe some of you not dealing with a work situation. It can be a romantic situation. But um, Two of Cups is also like teamwork. It, it can be teamwork. And I'm getting a lot of like money and career energy off of this. But just take it as it resonates. It can be about relationships and stuff too. But, um, and I mean like that can be friendships. That can be romantic relationships. Um, take things how they resonate. But the Two of Cups and the Fool means a new beginning. Patience for a new beginning coming. Something to work out, find balance. Um, your emotions balancing is what I get from this as well. How your emotions are probably a mess. Um, the Ten of Swords is here at the bottom, which is a bitter end to something. Like, it's, you know, mourning an ending, but it's an ending that's that probably doesn't feel too great. But it also pushes you into... Ten, from 10 to 0, okay? A new beginning, something new. Something yucky has to come to an end so something better can come in, okay? And the 7 of Pentacles is having patience for that to happen. Okay, so that's a message for somebody. Um, it's a lot of energy of, see, like it's 
slaying a broken heart. It's like something hurts. It's ripping the band-aid off. Um, and it, a negative energy finally dying, right? Like say you, um, have a, have a anger towards someone for a really, really long time. And then finally that anger comes to an end. Or say that you are, are really good friends with someone, you trust someone, you're really close with someone for a really, really long time, and um, you come to find out that they were not who you thought they were, and it's very earth-shattering, it, it's heartbreaking, or it's painful, and it's difficult to deal with, And but you reach acceptance of that, you reach acceptance of that pain, and acceptance of that ending, and it brings in something better. Like, say, a, a really close friendship comes to an end. Okay? And I'm saying this for a reason, I'm sure. A really close friendship comes to an end. And, um... You have, like, this... Oh, Ten of Swords. Really close friendship comes to an end, and you have, like, this pain about it, this heartbreak about it. A really close relationship, a really close you know, partnership of some sort and it comes to an end and you have this heartbreak about it, this devastation about it, this pain, confusion, all of that, but that all of that finally, you know, brings in something good. It's like mourning the loss of something else that you were used to and then finding something better to make it, to make it more like, to change your perspective to, oh, well, okay, that happened for a reason, that, that ending, that pain happened to me for a reason, and then something really good comes in to clean it all up or whatever, right, I, I hope that makes sense, anyway, and then three of wands is waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for whatever it is you're manifesting to come in, so it's coming, that's, two cards of patience and waiting. It's on the horizon. You can see it. It's it's almost here. So there's a lot of that energy of shit blowing up and just holding out until it balances back out. Okay? Like waiting till the smoke clears. Stay patient kind of thing. Okay? I just got the image of um oh, what is that movie called? There's two different ones. It's that Stephen King story where um, the fog, is it the fog? Whatever. Where they, you know, he, oh God, it's so bad. It's so demented. I'm sorry. I, guys, I get really morbid and um, dark sometimes on my channel. It's just how it goes. I'm trigger warning. Um, he kills the his family he kills everybody and to get them out of the fog, the monsters that are in the fog and they think they're going to die. So he shoots everyone to put them out of their misery, you know, and then right before he kills himself, the fog clears and they come in and save everybody. And he, if he would have just waited a little bit longer, just a couple of minutes longer, it would have been fine, and everybody in the car with him could have survived, right? They're telling me, don't do that. They're telling me to tell you, don't do that shit. Don't fuck up. Don't make that same fuck up, okay? Just hold on and wait and have patience. It's coming, right? Don't fuck yourself over, okay? Because you're angry, you're angry and that Mars and Gemini energy puts you all up in your head and makes you think about what makes you angry and you want to like tell someone off and let someone have it but you've been holding back and it's okay. Stay patient, keep calm, keep collected, keep your karma in check and it will sort itself out. Okay? So I think that is it for this reading. I am going to do an extended on Patreon, so you can join me over there if you're interested. And if not, that's perfectly fine. I will see you guys next time. All right. Love and light. Bye-bye.